I think our midfield is sorted. I've looked at three different stories, I've brought them up together and I've made my own conclusion. Now, the story is running something I told you a couple of weeks ago. I contacted the club, they told me that Thomas Suchek is staying. Unless we get relegated. If we get relegated, just spin this video, I might just unlist the video. They said, Thomas Suchek, it's, the deal's done. We're tied in. It's part of the contract. We can't go back on the deal now anyway. As long as we are playing Premier League football, be that because we've stayed up in, in the traditional method or because they've closed the season and just drawn a line under it and said anybody that's in is in, anybody that's out is out. Whatever reason that we may be in the Premier League, Thomas Suchek remains. We paid a fee and that's good news. The club have come out and said he's not only do they want to keep him, not only is the um, the deal watertight, but David Moyes thinks he's crucial to his plans. Brilliant. David Moyes really likes him. We know we know he's got many, many attributes. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see that much of him. But what we saw, we liked. He covers a hell of a lot of ground. He's good in a tackle. He's got a good long range of passing. He's obviously very good in the air because he's a big bloke. But he's also going to be a goal threat, not just from set pieces, but he does seem to be able to time a run into the box. He's not the fastest player in the world, but what he lacks in explosive pace, he seems to more than make up for in just general athleticism. He, around the pitch, he plays a long game. When people are starting to get tired over under 70 minutes, Thomas Suchek seems to have the same level of fitness as he had during minute one. He's an athlete. If he was an athlete, it'd be a cross-country runner. That's what we've got in him here. A really, really good player. He sits in the team. Straight away. Not a problem at all. Now, the other one that I've looked at is the other story. Well, I say other story. It's it's two, really. Um, the first one says, Hammers puts Rice off limits. And the other one is Jack Wilshire talking about Declan Rice. Now, it says here that, that Declan Rice will not be sold on the cheap this summer. Not only will he not be sold on the cheap, it's going to be, ha, take much closer to a hundred million than the sixty million pound bids that have been that have been floated around, basically. So a valuation of Declan Rice pretty much stays the same. We want to keep him; he's vital to the club. All all the all the cliches, all the platitudes about his ability, about him being West Ham through and through a. a a future captain. I say future captain. Let's be fair. He could be a present captain. Because if. Which is what the video is about. Our midfield. If this comes to pass. I think he's the captain anyway. Declan Rice plays in the middle. Next to Thomas Socek. 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 You say potato. I say potato. Whatever you want to call him. Those two play in the middle. Now. All that, it depends what formation you're playing, of course. But if you're going to look for one other person in there, then I think he's already at the club. And I think it's the Fornicator. Paolo Fornals plays in there, plays as the number 10. Two of them sitting. One more sitting than the other. Declan Rice more sitting than the other. Uh, one doing a bit of running, a bit of fetching and carrying. So check, a bit more box to box. And then Paolo Fornals. In the middle. Not the fastest midfield in the world. Let's get that out of the way now. Not the fastest at all. But there will be pace in other areas. You can have your pace out wide. You can have your pace up front. You're going to play Antonio up, up there. You're going to have Bowen wide. You maybe have whoever. Anderson, Dean Garner left. You've got pace in the team. It just might not necessarily be central. But you're playing a numbers game in the middle. You've got three of them there. We know... That Fornals has got the highest running stats of any other midfielder. We also know that that stat was previously held by Suchek. Um, it was a couple of games before, a couple of games before the season finished. Declan Rice, you know all about Declan Rice. <laughs> Declan Rice's commitment is beyond any sort of doubt. And we do know that David Moyes loves a trier. We know that he loves a runner. If you don't run, you don't play. Is the David Moyes mantra. So I think those three just fit in. They're a shoo -in. 
It's as simple as that. And I look at that midfield, I think, yeah, that's not bad at all. Obviously, it puts Mark Noble out of the team, but Mark Noble's going to have to be phased out of the team anyway. No big grand plans. He would come in. They're not all going to be fit all the time. There's room for Mark Noble. Mark Noble's on the bench. Mark Noble himself has said, I need some help here. Give me some help. Get some legs around me. <laughs> but... <laughs> If you, if you pardon the expression. Oh, dear me. I'm not starting a video again to edit that one out. Um, no, sorry. I can't even take myself seriously now. Uh, that's the midfield. Um, what do you think? Let me know in, in the link down below.